this will be a short screencast. Uh, this is just some details that you'll need for the rest of the course and hopefully for the rest of your career in experimental physics or engineering, but the log scale. And this is, ha, holds significance. Uh, it'll come up in the high-pass filter and low-pass filter. Your book talks about does the roll-off of the high-pass, uh, sorry, the roll-off of the low-pass filter or the roll-on of the high-pass filter, does it go uh, 20 dB per decade or minus 20 dB per decade? And so what does this dB mean? dBs are the log scale. Uh, log scales are just a, a natural unit for us to look at because the natural world is is multiplicative and not necessarily additive. For example, your ears, we hear frequency and we hear power in a multiplicative fashion, not uh, an additive fashion. So for example, you can hear something that is extremely loud, like a rock concert, and you can hear a whisper. And those two sounds are a trillion times, uh, one is a trillion times more than the other. And you can hear everything in between. If we're going to plot this and we're going to look at interesting features, we can't just graph it linearly, but we need this multiplicative uh, scale, which is the log scale. Um, so let's start out. So log scale, what we're interested here is we're interested in, for us it'll be voltage. It could be power, but we'll talk about uh, voltage, and we want to know like a ratio of voltage. So it could be that the ratio R of voltage we're interested in, we'll just call it V nu over uh, V old. It could be that the new voltage is 100 volts and that the old voltage was 1 volt. All right, and so that's obviously a ratio of 100. Uh, let me clean that up a little bit. If we're talking about logs, we're interested in, um, well, in log scale, we'll say how many dB more, but in linear, it'll be how many times more. So this ratio, uh, the new voltage is 100 times more than the old voltage. Well, if we want to write that in, in decibels, um, the number in dB, these are our log units, then that's just going to be 20 times log 10, we use base 10, of, of R. Okay, and now the log of, um, basically, uh, this is how logs work, hopefully you know this, is that uh, 100 in here is 10 to the 2, and so it unexponents the 10 to the 2. So log 10 of 100 is 2, because that's how many times I have to multiply 10 by itself to get 100, all right? So log 10 is 2, times 20 is going to be 40, so... 100 in, in uh, uh, the log units and in increase in voltage is going to be 40 dB. All right. I'm going to teach you some rules that will get you very, very, very far. There's just basically two rules to remember. You can get almost any number from linear to log, uh, and then you don't have to punch it into your calculator. If you need it exactly, you'll want to use this, but in most cases when we're in lab, uh, you'll see these rules of thumb work really well, and that's using 20 dB and 6 dB, or factors of 10 and 2. So here are some simple rules, uh, and, and these will really, really, truly get you far. If you're using power, just a little note, if you're using power, it's 10 dB and 3 dB, not 20 and 6. Um, and that's just because uh, power is V squared over R, and so a 2 gets pulled out of the log to make it 20 times log 10 rather than 10 times log 10. Uh, so power and voltage are different, but we'll be talking about voltage scaling here, and so we'll use this 20 dB and 6 dB rule. In optics, I'm talking about power all the time in my own lab, and so I use 10 and 3 instead of 20 and 6. All right, if we're talking about voltage and we're talking about the, the ratio increase, anytime I have a plus 20 dB, that's the same thing as times 10. Anytime I have a plus 6 dB, that's the same thing as times 2. And minus 20 dB is divided by 10, and minus 6 dB is divided by 2. So let's look at a few examples. So if I have a voltage that is 200 times more than another one, what I want to say is, wait, how can I make 200 out of 10s and 2s? Well, I can make 200 out of 10 times 10 times 2, and that's the equivalent of 20 plus 20 plus 6, which is going to be 46 dB. So times 200 is the same thing as 46 dB. We can also use it using division as well. If I have, for example, 42 dB, and this is going the other way. If I have a, a voltage that's 42 dB more, that's the same thing as 20 plus 20 plus 20. That gets me 60. Minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. That's minus 18. That will equal 42. And so then every 20 times 10, times 10, times 10. And this is going to be, uh, let me fill in the divide bys. I didn't do that yet. Let's see. So this is going to be divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Okay, and so I have 10 times 10 times 10, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So this is going to be 1,000, 500, 250, 125. 
Um, what we'll do when we have a chance in class is we'll do some log scale Mad Minutes. I don't know if you ever did Mad Minutes when you were in grade school where you did addition and subtraction, and we'll practice our conversion. Very, very, very handy for engineering and, and experimental physics when you're in lab measuring things. So the nat natural question to ask is, how does this help us for Lab 2? That's why we're bringing this up. It's going to be helpful throughout your career. Uh, and that's because of the way the graph for gain, and, and also phase for that matter, but the graph of gain, uh, if you remember, and, and this is actually, let me be a little more careful with this. This is the uh, modulus of gain. If you remember, the, the complex gain, the, the modulus of, is going to be 1 over 1 plus omega RC, and in fact... There's a little mistake there. My apologies. That's a squared. All right, that's important. So um, basically, this is a, a new way to plot that curve that we saw in the last screencast. And that new way is going to be, if we, if we plot it on a log log scale, instead of the gain being 0, uh, sorry, the gain being 1, it's 0 dB. And this is why we have the F3 dB point. All right, so it looks a little more, it's kind of like straightened out here. I don't know if you remember what it looked like in the last time, but it kind of it curved, and then it, it, it had this limit towards 0. Here what we have is we have more of a straight line, and then this actually linear line, uh, that's a little redundant linear line, but we have a line which is, has a slope of minus 1 in the log scale. And because we're plotting in log 10, what that means, it doesn't mean if we go down by 1, we go over by 1, but it means if we're multiplied by 1, we times by 1. If we multiply by 10, we divide by 10. All right, so this comes up in your book where it says, like, look, if you have a slope of minus 1 on a log log plot, a log 10, log 10 plot, that's really what we're saying is every time we multiply, uh, if we're at this point here and we want to go up in frequency, every time we multiply by 10, we go down by 10. All right, so it's minus 20 dB per decade. A decade is 10, and minus 20 dB is down by a, a factor in 10. So that means every time you multiply in frequency, every time you go up in frequency by 10, you've actually gone down by a factor of 10. Factors in 10 instead of adding or subtracting 10. All right, um, let's look at this on, on the next slide. Here's where it comes from. Once again, we start with our, our complex gain. Let me fix that up a little bit just to make it. There we go, that's a little better. Um, and we have this 1 plus uh, omega rc squared, square root of. And for omega much, much bigger than rc, when this, when this value is much, much bigger than 1, you can ignore the 1. And so you get 1 over the square root of omega rc squared. And so g of omega is just equal to 1 over omega rc. All right, so here's our equation now. In fact, let's box that. So if we box this equation, this is the new equation that we're interested in plotting. All right, and if I take the log of both sides... I basically get, and, and that's what you do if you plot it, log, log, I'm going to get the log of g of omega, that's the gain, log of 1 over omega rc. Well, omega rc is the same thing as to the minus 1. Here's the beautiful thing, when you take a log to something that's to a power, you can just pull the power out. Okay, so this minus 1 goes to the outside, and you're left with log of g of omega is equal to minus 1. Log 10 of omega rc, and if we write it again, we get log of g of omega is equal to minus log 10 omega plus log of rc. All right. Remember, you can split up logs this way if they're multiplied. And if you look at the format here, this is why we like it. This is your y variable. This is what you plot on the y-axis. And uh, um, this is what we're plotting. I mean, we do log of f or log of omega. But this is what we're plotting on the x-axis. And so the coefficient times my x variable is just minus 1. That's a line with a slope of minus 1. If I were concerned about my intercept, we're not really. My intercept should be equal to log of rc. So let's look at that graph one more time. All right, so here's our graph, and this is a, a log of g of omega versus log of f. You could, if you, it makes you feel better, call it omega, that's fine. And what we have here is, again, what was plotted before, and this is the slope of minus 1. All right, and that's because if I'm plotting log of f, um, if, I, if I plotted this intercept up, it should equal log of, uh, log of rc. All right, so this is nice because what we do is we look at different regimes. If we're very low frequency, we know that it's going to be a gain of 1. That's 0 dB on the log scale. And if we're very high up, and high up means past the corner frequency, then the slope is going to be minus 1 on the log scale. And minus 1 on the log scale means that, uh, or even 1 in the log scale means if you multiply your f variable, if you go up in f by times 2, you go down in, in g of omega by, by 2. All right, or if you go up in f by times 10, you go down, uh, that's, and going down means divide by, you go down in g of omega by 10. So it means every time, so for example, if I increase from a frequency of 100 hertz to 1,000 hertz, and at 100 hertz my voltage was 5, I expect at 1,000 hertz my voltage would be 0.5. All right, so this is a mul multiplicative idea 
um, of slope and multiplicative idea of plotting rather than additive. And that's all it is. And we'll practice this more and more.